Welcome back to the Wake Man channel. entered the surfboard giveaway make sure to get over that video and get yourself entered i'll put a link right above me i'll put a link in the description below and i'll put a link at the end of this video okay so in today's video i'm going to talk about the fuel filter on my 2018 24mxz with the endmar raptor 450 engine now my endmar engine manual says to change the fuel filter every 300 hours or annually now I've obviously chosen to change it at the 300 hour mark. I'm at just around 250 hours. Uh, I, I haven't changed it annually. Um, I definitely, myself, I have not felt like I've needed to change it. Um, you'll, you'll have to make that decision on your own um, and just kind of pay attention to your own owner's manual. Um, today, I'm just going to discuss what I will be doing and show you how I identified where the fuel filter on my boat is but I'm actually going to wait to change the fuel filter until I'm much closer to 300 hours. So in about 50 hours, I'll change it, which for me, that'll probably be sometime in June. Um, usually I'll put the first 50 hours on my boat um, from April through June. All right, so I did a little bit of investigation before I ordered the new fuel filter because I wanted to make sure that even though I had the part number that I was ordering the correct part, I wanted to make sure what it looked like. So. I uh, did some digging around and I'll show you where I found the fuel filter. So you have to get in to the engine compartment. First I'll show you how I figured out where it is. So generally anything with fuel, if you start with the fuel tank, so I got into this compartment right here. turn a light on here so that is the fuel tank right there part of it uh, and over here is another part of it so if <clears throat> so if I get down in here and look you can see that's actually the fuel pump and then this orange hose coming out of it is the line the, for the fuel line that goes to the engine so you can kind of see where it goes there <clears throat> Now, at this point, still hadn't found a fuel pump, but decided to look in where that fuel line goes. And I know that the fuel line connects somewhere down in here. You can kind of eyeball down there. It's really hard for me to show you on the camera, but I did find where the fuel line goes. And then, voila, there is the fuel filter. You can see that there's a line coming out of the top of it, the line breaking off that way. And there's a line going up this way so uh, the good news is I found it and I felt confident enough to order the part um, the bad news is it's in a very precarious place I uh, don't really have much room to get my hands down in there that way barely have any room this way I mean you can see the size of my hand um, so so I right, may remove this entire box right here. You can see that there's a screw right here, screw right there, another one at this corner here, and another one right here. So I may remove this entire thing so I have better space to get in there, at least to be able to put my hands in through there. Uh, I may even have to may even have to undo this piece of the exhaust and just kind of move it move it to the to the left a little bit um, if it has any movement not entirely sure about that but I believe I'll be able to get it done okay so once I located the fuel filter I actually had already looked up online a part and just verified that it looked the same I had a part number by looking in my owner's manual already 
Um, and that part number is on the part I'm going to show you. I actually ordered my part off of inboardsonline.com. So I'll show you the part here. They kind of they put newspaper around it and then some bubble wrap. Um, so good enough for me, not too worried about that as long as it gets to me in good condition. Um, so here is the part. And you can see that it looks pretty similar to what I was looking at in the boat. And it shows you which way the fuel should flow. It also gives you the part number which matches with what I looked up in the manual. The part number is 556003. Um, and online when I ordered it, it said that it works for most EFI engines. If you have an engine built by Inmar, um, there's probably a really good chance that this is the fuel filter they used. Um, and there's probably a good chance that this is the fuel filter you're gonna use on many different boats. And like I said before, I'm not gonna change it right now. Um, because I want to wait till I get closer to 300 hours so that it'll last for another 300. That's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any thoughts or comments to provide, any helpful tips, please leave those in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you can be notified of my future videos. I'll see you next week.